Okay, so just a little point to add on to the previous video where we were discussing whether or not uh, this probability space that we uh, were central to the negative binomial distribution, this, this probability space here, was uh, count of the infinite or not. I don't think it is count of the infinite, and here's my argument for why. Uh, suppose that it was count of the infinite, then uh, you could do a very similar argument to the reason the real numbers aren't count of the infinite. For instance, uh, when, what you could do is you could construct a new a new element of this probability space that wasn't in the countable set of them. So what you do is, uh, let me get another piece of paper. Uh, suppose you could list them, then you'd have something along the lines of this. So you'd have heads, tail, tail, head, tail, uh, tail, tail, head, and you'd go on. Then you've got tail, head, uh, tail, tail, head, head, tail, and I'm just making these up. So let's say you have this countable list of elements, then you could make a new element, you could just go to this first one and make it so that the uh, first element, uh, first, um, first flip here was different to this one, so you could say, let's make it tail there. Then you could go along to the second bit, uh, you could say, let's make it the opposite here, so let's make it tails here. And so basically, that would ensure that this element here was not equal to either of these two first elements. And then you could go to the third one, you could go to the third uh, third uh, flip, and you could say, take the opposite result there. And you could continue on going down the count of the many, and it would not be equal to any of the elements in that list. Uh, because uh, given an element in this list, it would appear, it would, you know, it's in by if this list were countable, then it would be in bijection with the natural numbers. So any element in there would have a corresponding natural number. And you could say that at the nth position of this new element, it differs from that uh, one you had there. So you'd be able to construct an element that wasn't in the set. And that's the proof that it can't be countably... Well, I think that's the proof that it can't be countably uh, infinite.